For acusports.com, I'm Grant Boone talking some Wildcat women's hoops and why not 12 straight wins for the ladies. We've got head coach Julie Goodenough, and uh, you, you may know Alexis Mason. She had the three consecutive Southland Conference Player of the Week honors. Alexis, um, the, the hits just keep coming. They, they keep calling you and saying congratulations. What's this role like for you? Um, it, it feels good, uh, obviously, but I feel like it goes further than just the individual achievement. It's, uh, a lot of success goes to the team for this achievement also because we all work together and we're all one team. You do have the, the, the motto, the mantra, the hashtag, team first wins. I, I would think on some teams maybe that you've been a part of in, 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 a, in, a, in your previous basketball career, I, I, I would think that some teammates might not accept that as well as this one. But what are you hearing from your teammates? Yeah, I think that's a great motto for this team. Um, a lot of other teams that I've been on, like everyone wants to be the star, and this team, it just it doesn't matter who the star is. It's just everyone plays together and everyone's going to get the job done. Well, and there have been moments this year where – different players have stuff that's really what this team is all about and yet when you are on a roll are there times when you say yeah let's go I, I've got this give me the ball um I know there's times where I know I need to score and then there's times where I know I need to get somebody else open to score so I just I just play last week you had two big road wins this team has now won not just seven straight games to open the conference season but five of those have been on the road what is the difference between playing, in your mind, road versus home? And why have you had so much success away from Moody? Yeah, um, I think with our motto, Team First Wins, I don't think it really matters whether we're playing at home or whether we're playing on the road. Um, we're all just going to come out and play as a team and get the win. Last week, it had to have been, I would imagine, a little extra special in Huntsville because you had some, some family members there cheering you on, right? What was that like? Yeah, um, my parents or my sister and dad tried to surprise me, but that didn't work out too well. But it was it was good. It's always good to have support on the road. Well, let's talk to your head coach here, Julie. Uh, this is an amazing run, and yet in these wins, it's not like Alexis is the only player doing good things for you. She wasn't even the leading scorer in, in that win over over Sam Houston State. It is fun though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it really is, and it's it's been really fun to. Um, to see our team come together, play together as one unit. Um, you know, and Alexis has had a lot of success on the court because you can't just focus on Alexis. Uh, she's got some very complimentary teammates out there with her. And, you know, if you want to focus on Alexis, well, what are you going to do about Whitney? Well, well, how about Susie draining threes now? Well, how about, you know, Lizzie putting back offensive rebounds? Well, there's Sydney. You know, what are you going to do about Sydney? And so um, I think a lot of Alexis' success is based on the players that are around her because, um, you know, you, you can't forget about them either. And, uh, you know, and like just to echo Alexis, I think that our team is really playing together. They play, you know, as one unit out on the court. No one's concerned about, you know, who's scoring or who has the, um, you know, the most points, most rebounds. They're just concerned about um, the end result and let's do everything we can to make sure that we secure a win today. You always talk about the maturity of this team. Your starters are, are made up of four juniors and a senior. Do you think in all these years you've been coaching, do you think that that does begin to change for an older team? The stats become a little less important, at least for some teams, and, and the victories become a little bit more paramount? Well, absolutely. I think that goes along with maturity. Uh, you know, it's really hard to be a freshman at the college level. You know, you just came off the very best year of your life, and you were like the big dog on campus in a lot of ways, but probably on the court. And then you come in, and it's just a really hard transition. And sometimes all of that doesn't even come together and make sense your sophomore year. But by your junior and senior year, you start figuring out, hey, at the D1 level, if we don't play together as a team, we're not going to have the success that we want because you can't win consistently with, like, one player doing everything or, or even two players. Um, you know, so I, I think that – uh, just the older you get, the more mature you, you do really figure that out. And, you know, of no fault of anyone's, I think it's just a natural progression. You know, you, you figure out, hey, I can actually accomplish more if I, you know, get on board with this team and we put the team's successes first. Uh, those are going to be bigger than anything that you can do by yourself. And so definitely we have a team that has embraced that, that type of a, a philosophy. You're going to have to reacquaint yourself with Moody Coliseum. Five out of seven road games. Now you get two games at home and two really tough ones. You get Houston Baptist Wednesday night. You get Lamar, a team that knocked you off a couple of times last year. The Houston Baptist games were, were tussles last year. You went down to the wire with him down in Houston. 
And you get Anna Strickland for HBU, a double-double machine. She has 13 of them. It seems like they always have somebody on that roster who's going to rack up double-doubles. Uh, what specifically is the challenge against HBU? Well, I think Strickland is the best rebounder in the conference. And, uh, I mean, she gets her team so many extra possessions. She is just the epitome of a relentless rebounder. Um, and then Monet Neal, her counterpart in the post, she's you know fabulous athlete who – gets rebounds, she takes charges like a Dimba, she uh, can score off the dribble drive, score back to the basket. So they've got two really good uh, post players that, that score, they get rebounds, they're good on defense, they, they're they complemented by a good uh, perimeter game as well. So, I mean, another really tough battle for us, um, you know, and, and I think when teams come off of losses, they're fired up, they're ready to prove something. And they had a, had a good game um, at Lamar on Saturday, but, but lost the game. And so I think they'll be, uh, you know, fired up and ready to take out how they feel on somebody else. So, I mean, again, faced with a, a really good team coming in here, big challenge for us on Wednesday. And it's a team with a, a little bit of swagger. They made it all the way from your eighth seed that you didn't get to, to take and go to the conference tournament. They were the ninth seed. They went to the conference tournament final game last year and lost to Northwestern State. So ACU versus Houston Baptist on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Then the Wildcats host Lamar for a doubleheader beginning at 2 o'clock on Saturday. For the three-time reigning Southland Conference Player of the Week, Alexis Mason, and her coach, Julie Goodenough, I'm Grant Boone for acusports.com.